So this guitar lesson is about tone. So something that I recently discovered very, very recently, probably three nights ago, is my tone and feel drastically improves when I roll my volume knob down halfway. So when I roll the volume knob to five, I get less of the pickups and more of the guitar's natural tone. So when I roll my volume knob on my guitar down, I can hear my guitar in a way that I could not before. I can really hear my guitar. I can hear its tone. And to compensate for turning the guitar volume knob down, I turn the amp gain up. And having the amp gain higher than I normally do seems to give me more touch sensitivity, meaning if I hit it soft, and I get a certain type of feel, I get you know a softer attack, but then when I hit it hard, then I get a totally different feel. So yeah, that's like a very recent discovery of mine. And um, I hope that helps someone out there. So now I, I like this guitar way better than I did before. Like I loved it, but I wasn't like in love with it. But now I'm, now I'm in love with it. And then also, the whammy bar used to sag, meaning it wouldn't stay where I put it. See how I put it right there and then it just stays right there without falling? So to get it to do that, my former guitar tech showed me you just put some electrical tape on the, the whammy bar. So it's... Um, So see, there's electrical tape on that part, on the, the grooves, yeah. That makes the whammy bar stay in one spot. Never knew that until like two days ago. Let me do that. Yeah, and then another thing, a follow up on the two five one two five one. I did another lesson on here about that. So. 
instead of a B minor seven flat five, you could do a D minor nine flat five. <laughs> And then that's an E7 sharp 5 sharp 9. That Eric Gales chord. And then A minor 9. So. Also, turning the volume knob down halfway has made my other pickups more usable. Like before, I really only played on the fourth position, which is neck and middle. But now I can actually use the bridge position. And it doesn't sound too bright or harsh to me. And then you can roll the tone knob down. I've had this guitar modded to where the final tone knob is modded to the bridge pickup. So. As for the online guitar lessons, I'm still responding to emails. So just give me some time. Yeah. Mm. But I appreciate you reaching out. Mm. Yeah. What's a good cheap amp? This amp right here, this is a Yamaha THR10. Yeah. This one is the one. I've had many a practice amp in my day, but this one is the best one, in my opinion. Yeah. pickup which is crazy this whole time I've really just been using the fourth position and I was using the fourth position and not the fifth position because the fourth position is reverse while in reverse polarity so it has like a noise cancellation effect like a humbucking effect because you're going through two pickups so technically that's like a double coil like a humbucker but now I use all the positions and I can really hear my guitar. And you would think, couldn't you hear it before? I was mainly hearing the pickups before, but now I can hear both. I can hear my guitar, I can hear the wood. <laughs> So this is the middle pickup. And I use all of them. 
volume knob down it makes it it makes it easier to shred like something like or like so now I can hear that my G string is a lot louder than all of the other strings and that's because these are staggered pickups so the, what are those called? Magnets or are those bobbins? Is that the word? Like the G string one is higher than most of them. The D and G string ones are higher. So that's why the G string is louder. So when I get the chance, I'm probably gonna adjust the pickup height so you can change the pickup height on both sides. So I'm gonna slant it to where like, like the, the travel side is lower. Yeah. I've just been doing this a lot for the past few days. Yeah, so um, that's my lesson for today, and uh, I um, hope that was helpful, and uh, yeah. Uh, any questions before I go? I got a lesson. I'm, I teach online guitar lessons, if you didn't know. I, I have a lesson in seven minutes. What strings? These are um, Ernie Ball 10s, I believe. Or these might be Dunlop 10s. I don't know. This is a Fender Classic 60s series. Fender Classic 60s series Strat. Bought this five years ago. And it's in a limited edition color called Cerulean. And yeah. Oh, and I changed the plastic parts to black. So originally they were aged white, but I changed everything to black because I thought it looked cool. And then I, I added Lawler Blondes. So these are Alnico 2 pickups. Underwound, I believe. And uh, I didn't change the pots, but I changed the caps to uh, I think it's 0 0.047. I don't really know what that measures, but I just remember the number of the, the caps. Yeah, they're orange drop caps. Mm -hmm. 
Do I prefer rosewood or maple? From the looks of it, I have mostly rosewood fretboards. I have rosewood and paw ferro. Am I saying that right? And I have ebony. I have one ebony fretboard on my John Mayer Silver Sky. And um, I only have one maple fretboard. That's my RG550. What am I wearing? This is an outfit that I got um, from, where did I get this from? I'll have to, I'll have to link. Uh, let's see, I'll find their Instagram. So the Instagram is 806555. Can you see that? That's the Instagram where I got this outfit from. Yeah, uh, I really like these. Um, how do I play with nails? Uh, let's see. Um, how do I? I don't know. I just do. Uh, I've cut them kind of short. They're not as long as they used to be. Because um, I just grow them out and then they break. And then I grow them out again and then they break. Do I do classes with multiple people simultaneously? Yes, I do group classes and I do private lessons. So email Melanie Faye guitar lessons at gmail.com. And I'll get you a guitar lesson, yeah. Uh, playing diminished scales. That's something that I'm studying right now, studying the half whole and whole half diminished scale. Well, actually it's the same scale, but it's two different ways of conceptualizing it. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna go teach my lesson. It's in two minutes. So Melanie Faye guitar lessons at gmail.com. And what if I change my email one day? What if it turns to a different email? I'll find a way to like, to um, edit it, so. Yeah, thanks, and I hope this was helpful. All right, bye.